Okay. <clears throat> Hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about how to make diethyl ether. Now, uh, uh, I guess it's been used uh, in the past for anesthetics, but they have things now that are not so flammable, because this stuff is very flammable. And, uh, yeah, so it's in starter fluid, so this is what you're going to need to, to make your diethyl ether. Just in case any of you want to use it for... Uh, your mad scientist experiments, like uh, for uh, extracting uranium salts or other things, it's uh, very good for solvent extraction. And uh, what happens is the ether will actually float on top of the water, and it can leach salts out of that are dissolved into the water into the ether. And the e ether will not dissolve in the water, so you can separate them very easily. And I'll show you how that's done. So, uh, but the problem with starter fluid, though, okay, let's take a look at what we're going to need here. We have a rubber glove and a uh, pop bottle that I took the label off of, and uh, some starter fluid. Now, starter fluid has other petroleum products in it, and we'd like to just uh, get pure ether out of it. So we're going to mix it with water, and what will happen is the petroleum products will go into the water, and the ether will separate by itself and float on top. So in order to get rid of the water, we're going to have to make our own little makeshift separatory funnel. Now, I've done this before with uh, some, some bottles where I put, put a cap on and drill the hole in it, but I didn't have any caps today, and we're going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll try it anyway. Okay. Okay, so since uh, diethyl ether is an anesthetic, and I didn't feel like passing out and becoming unconscious inside, I uh, decided to move my operation outside. And so here's what we're going to do first, is we're going to take our starter fluid okay and we're gonna spray it into the pop bottle like so there, can you see that because it smells bad Stuff is highly flammable too, so don't be smoking when you do this. Okay. So make sure you get the heat there inside there. Okay. So now. We're still taping. We'll get some water. Let's get some water in there with the ether. And I'm going to stick my gloves in there. Try to minimize my exposure to this as much as possible. Although I probably should have put it on before I started spraying because it was just spraying all over the place. We're going to shake her up. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's getting all milky and everything. And if you watch it, you can see it starts to separate. And you see there's a separation layer where it's kind of clear up here. And then there's another layer of liquid and it's all murky down here. So this is going to be our ether at the top. And uh, the rest of this junk is going to be uh, stuff we want to get rid of, the non-ether. Because when you want to do solvent extraction or whatever, you don't want water contaminating your ether, right? Okay, so I'm going to let it separate for a little while, and then we're going to uh, dump some of this stuff out. Okay, so you can see the layers separated. Let's turn her upside down, and now, see our ether is at the top, and we can let the uh, stuff we don't want drain out the bottom, hopefully slowly, so it doesn't get stirred up too much. We may need to let it settle again, and... Uh,
There we go. We're going to separate the ether from our water and petroleum that's left over. I think it's getting stirred up a little bit too much, so I'm going to let it settle down and separate. But you see it stays separate very well. I mean, the ether floats at the top. It has a clear boundary layer there. And the petroleum products kind of stay toward the bottom. Okay. There, we'll let it settle some more. Okay. And there we go. Pretty much pure ether. Whew. Okay. So there's how you get diethyl ether for your solvent extraction processes. Anyway. Okay, anyway, let's just do a little test to make sure that this is really ether, or it's really flammable at least. So let's just pour a little bit into something to hold it. And there we go. Extremely flammable. Anyway, this is Dr. Janes and thanks for watching.